Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today let's take a look at this heavy hatchet distortion pedal by Driftwood. Let's go! So I have my trusty uh, 2009 Solo, oh, Custom Solo Jackson, and it has a Sima Duncan Custom pickup in it. All right, so I'm running this thing into a Campton preamp on the line in, into the computer, and this new Genome uh, plug-in from two notes has a power amp in it so that's what I'm using let's just go over this for a second so here's a here's the heavy hatchet distortion pe pedal from driftwood it has two switches here one for the, to engage the boost and one to bypass or turn on the distortion so here's clean Over here we have boost, gain, and volume. So this only works if this is on. Here we have a vintage and modern switch. Bass, mids, treble, and then you have the rumble and a gate, which is nice. And the, uh, what do you call it, it's a sharp. Uh, so upper frequency, lower frequency, and then you have the, the setting here where you can set it as a preamp or a distortion. Right now I have to set it for preamp because it's, it's uh, running as a preamp into the mic pre into the computer. So let's try and boost it. So the boost is set pretty high as you can see. Okay, listen to that, so let's gate it a little bit more. 
Okay, turning the gain. Vintage. We'll keep it on the modern setting. A little more gate on it. Well, the volume is just the setting. It's just an output volume. So I set it right here. Set it right here. So the gate is cutting it a little bit here. Like the boost on, we'll tr go with this rumble thing. So the IR I'm running is an Uber cab by Bogner IR <clears throat> with a, just a 57 on it. Try the, the sharp. All right, let's change it to distortion mode. Okay, so we have the high and low input here. All right, let's these tone controls now. So let's scoop it. So I'm running it through this genome with a EL34s. So I'm not crazy about that sound. So. Change guitar. There's a Schecter SLS Fisherman Moderns in it, and it's on the classic tone. Cut the low end just a little bit to tighten it up.
So these pedals that emulate a preamp uh, or you know distortion channel or overdrive channel, pretty common thing. But this one in particular is geared towards metal for sure. This is all about metal. This is all about controlling the the tone of in a modern way. Although it has a vintage option, you know, I think this is all about modern metal, down-tuned guitars, uh, even a regular tuned guitar. It has so many controls to control the shape of especially the bottom end and the distortion characteristic, which is really nice. And it even includes a gate. There's a couple of things about this thing um, that I think is really cool. For one thing, um, this boost mode very useful, almost essential, because it does feel like you're boosting the front end of it, which is really cool. Kind of like a tube screamer or something similar to that. It's nice to have these functions down here, the rumble, the sharp, to kind of control in a more of a power amp kind of way. I don't think it really functions as a power amp control, but it, it's similar to that. And also, it's extremely effective tone controls to this thing, as well as there's a ton of gain on tap here. That said, I'm still all about tubes, to me anyway. There's a feel thing that goes on with tubes that just doesn't exist here, although it feels better than plugins, for example, on the computer, because it's still analog. And also, I figure most people would do it this way rather than plug it into the effects loop. I did try that and it works fine. Although you get a lot of the tube, the tube characteristic from the output of the amplifier. It does exactly what it says it's, on, it's doing, but I still like tube uh, and tube amps better, of course. But yeah, cool thing, man. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment below what you think of this pedal and until next time, take care.